I am going to talk to you today about pottery. Almost every country has people who make pots, but I make pots the way I was taught here, and my friend Sarah thought you might like to see how it's done. So we're going to throw a couple of pots. Now, first question. Take, throw. We can throw. That's not what throw means this time. Throw comes from the word turn. And this wheel goes around. Can you see how it's going around? Around. This wheel will go around while I form clay on it. I'm going to use my hands with very sticky mud. First, I need this to be wet. I have a little bowl of water and I get it nice and wet. When it's wet, the clay likes to stick to it better. Careful not to be too wet. Now, this is clay. It's very sticky. It sticks to your hands. Very messy. It feels cold. Very cold. It's always evaporating. It feels cold. Let's see if I can throw a pot. Firmly, firmly, hard in the middle, the middle of the bat. This is the plate I use on top of my wheel. We call this a bat. B-A-T. It's a bat. This lets me remove the pot when I am done without hurting the pot. So hands nice and wet, clay nice and wet. The next step is to center. We're going to center. We're going to push all the clay in the middle and we call this centering. See how I'm pushing on the clay? I push down and I push up until the ball of clay looks very smooth, until it's even in the middle, in the middle of the bat. We can make it taller, it gets taller. We can make it shorter. Make it lower. Now you can see this has been made very even, very even. It is centered in the middle. Now I need to open a hole in the top. I'm going to use my thumbs. See now that I've opened a hole in the top. There's a hole in the middle, in the center. So now I will make the hole bigger. We need to make it wider, bigger. Take the hole and make it bigger. It's now bigger. Now we will try to make our pot taller. To make it taller, I'm going to put this hand inside and this hand outside. Then I'm going to squeeze, squeeze the clay together. As the clay spins and I squeeze, 
it will rise, it will become taller, it will get higher. Let's see if I'm any good. That went pretty well. Look how it got taller. It got taller. We're going to try and make it bigger again. so my hands can slide and we will try to make it bigger. So becomes more round. Hello, Kevin. All right. So our pot has become taller and more around, bigger, more up, taller, more around, bigger. I'm going to use this tool. This tool is made of wood and the foot of the pot needs to be trimmed. I'm going to trim the foot. Where else do you know the word foot from? You have a foot. You have a foot. You have two feet. The pot also has a foot. We talk about a pot like we talk about parts of people. A pot has a foot, a belly, a shoulder, and a mouth. Some pots also have a neck. Do you have a foot? You have a foot. Some of us have a belly, a shoulder, and a mouth. Just like a pot. We like to talk about pots as if they were people. Let's see if we can't give our pot a bigger belly, a big belly. Oh, it's getting a bigger belly. Ooh, our pot got all wobbly. See how it wobbles? It's uneven. I'm going to take this tool. This tool is also made of wood and it's called a rib. A rib. We'll see if this wobble is permanent or if I can save it. That's a little better, isn't it? That's a little better. Almost anything can be made a little better. Now, if I take a special tool, this is called my wire tool. It's a wire. And we're going to run it under the pot. Then I can pick up the pot and throw it. Let's try another pot. Trim. This is my excess, my trim. Let's see if we have more clay hidden somewhere. More clay. Surprise, surprise. Hard. I put it down hard in the middle. Put it down hard in the middle. I'm going to use one hand. I'm going to use two hands. 
I'm going to use both my hands. Both my hands. The clay goes down, low. comes up tall. All cultures make pots. Everybody makes pots all over the world. Where you're from they make pots and where I'm from they make pots. And one other thing we all have in common is bowls. Let's see if we can't make a bowl. How about we make a very pretty bowl? We make a hole in the middle. Can you see there's a hole in the middle? that we can expand. I'm going to pinch and pull. I like a bowl that fits in my hand, just big enough for one hand. I like to eat from my bowl while I hold it. I don't like to leave my bowl on the table. I like to hold my bowl while I eat from it. We're going to pull one more time. starts to look like a bowl. What would your bowl look like? Would your bowl be big or would your bowl be small? Big bowl or a small bowl? I'm going to trim the bottom again. Just like anything else, we improve it, we make it better. Always having to make things better. Always using things to make it easier. I'm going to use my knife again. But this knife is not like a knife in your kitchen. This knife is made of wood, just wood. So, our bowl, as we said before, has a foot. Do you know where the foot of the bowl is? The belly, the shoulder, and the mouth. And the mouth has a lip. That's the lip. Lip, mouth. Every culture that I know of talks about pots like we talk about our bodies. They're tall and they're short. They're skinny or they're round. They have a foot, a belly, a shoulder, and a mouth. Maybe you'd like your mouth on your bowl to have a little rim. So let's see if we can't just put a nice rim there. Won't that make it easy to hold? Won't having a rim there make it easier to not spill, to not spill our food? I think that's a nice little bowl, but I think it needs more belly. It needs a big belly. Don't you think it needs a belly? Let's see if we can't give our bowl a belly. We're going to use our rib again. This is another kind of rib made of wood. Rib, just like you have ribs. And we're going to expand 
Watch the curve. There we go. That's a nice curve, isn't it? Now our bowl will hold more cereal, more kabuli, more raisins. Anything we want to put in it, we can put in more, much more, because it's bigger. I like it bigger. Isn't that a nice belly? I like this bowl. Maybe when this is all over and we get back together, we can all have lunch and I'll bring bowls I made so everyone can have a neat bowl. We can decorate bowls together. It'll be a very good time. I want to thank you for coming to my studio today. If I can, later today I'll be painting a little bit. Maybe you can join me while I paint. Paint. I make art in paintings. Maybe someday we'll be able to paint together. Thank you for making pots with me today. We made tall pots. We made wide pots. We put them in the middle, in the center of the bat. Then we made them more full. Pots have a foot, a foot. Pots have a belly, pots have a shoulder, and pots have a mouth. I look forward to being able to make pots with you. Have a good day.